we have facilitated the prosecutor interviewing the two eyewitnesses whose statements will not be disputed by anybody. We have the video, which clearly shows that no crime was committed. We have a retired detective who was with the special crimes victim for six years that actually arrested Cuba, who has given us a sworn affidavit that he has reviewed the video frame by frame and does not believe there is any basis whatsoever for a criminal charge to be lodged against Cuba. We believe that the district attorney, in delaying this process, is acting unfairly to Cuba. It is our opinion that as much as we need to respect victims of sex or crime uh, cases, we equally need to protect defendants who are falsely being accused of sex crime offenses. Those individuals have the right to have the prosecutor carefully vet out and investigate the allegations before they are dr dragged through this system. He's basically a hostage here. He has very important professional film commitments that are being on hold, and it's greatly uh, impairing his ability to move forward with but his life. Her, as she calls it, modest breasts, causes her to feel invisible, and she says in her blog that she is starving to be visible. Well, making a false claim against a world-renowned Academy Award winner actor will certainly satisfy her starvings and put her in a position where she will no longer be invisible.